Okay, so you got a 3018 laser. Whether it be Sane Smart or this one right here in front of me happens to be an Anbol with a lot of different brands. And you bought the laser head for it. And it came in a little kit like this. Comes in a bag. And you don't know how to mount it. It goes right, the board goes right back here, but it doesn't come with any hardware. And I've had a lot of uh, inquiries on some of my other videos on the CNC, whether it be the Sane Smart or the Anbol here, about how do you mount that? It doesn't come with any hardware. Where do you get the screws? You know, what do I need? Well, you need this. Here's a close-up picture of it. This nut on the end is called a T-slot nut or a hammerhead nut. And you need to have a 3 millimeter one. And the bolt that goes in there would be a socket head cap screw, also 3 millimeter by about 10 millimeters long. And there are some little mounting holes on each side of the circuit board, which I will uh, shall take this out. Maybe I will. So you have this little circuit board, and it may be a different color or brand, depending on what brand you've got. This is different than what's on here. Although if you look at it, it's basically the same thing. It's just a different color. But it, it's all the same thing. There's two little holes. You see they're on the back. And that's where your three millimeter screw socket head cap screws go through into a T-nut into this track right here. From there, you would uh, plug in your connection over to your board, your main control board. And incidentally, when you do plug your laser in and you have a spindle, unplug the spindle. Don't leave them both plugged in. Yeah. And I'm not going to get into all the things on how to set up a laser here. I'm just, this is just basically to cover how to mount this. And leave yourself enough slack here. I put mine on the top rail. I, I've done it on the same smart as well. And the wire then from the laser head, which is this one right here, I put some spiral wrap on it just to keep it kind of neat and nice looking. And these little uh, plugs here do unplug so you can do whatever you need to do. Uh, you don't need to leave the laser head hooked up. Just have to remember which one goes where. One's for the laser and one's for the little fan that's on top here. That's uh, really all there is to it. So, okay, now where do you get those parts, those hardware parts? Well, on Amazon, of all places, here is a assortment of T-nuts, or what I call hammerhead nuts, in four, five, and six millimeter. And for the socket head cap screws, you can get these big assortment packs. They even come with nuts. And I do a lot of tinkering around with uh, the CNC's. And I have a few of them here. I've got the lasers and I have 3D printers behind me. So I'm always tinkering around with this kind of stuff and, you know, modifying it and just doing things. It's nice to have these assortments. They're, they're not expensive. If you wanted to just get the three millimeter socket head cap screws, you could probably get those at a hardware store of uh, somewhere local. However, when you get to the little hammerhead nuts or the T-slot nuts as they're called here, that may not be quite a, as easy to find as the socket head cap screws. You may have to actually go on Amazon and order them. These assortments are not expensive. They're very, very reasonable and it's nice to have these extra parts. So, just a little quick video here on uh, answering all these questions on, you know, how do you mount this? You know, where, where do I put it? You know, it doesn't come with any hardware. There's no instructions. Of uh, Depending on what machine you have, there may have been instructions or maybe not. Anyway, that's all there is to it. If you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. It helps the channel. Otherwise, I'm Roger, not in the shop, but up in the loft, playing with one of the lasers. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.